Hey everybody, want to talk about something that I've been seeing in the charts and that I've seen a lot of people talking about on Twitter as well, is that it seems like this consolidation period might be mimicking the consolidation period that we had back in the summer. And not only that, but sort of seems like this entire move that we've had since the summer might be imitating this entire move that we had over here. So first off, I'm going to talk about this area that we are sitting in right now. And there are lots of similarities to the price action that we saw in the summer. We had a initial drop off, followed by a wick back up, and then a consolidation period inside of a range with a breakout and a drop off taking out the previous lows of the wick and that's very similar to what we saw over here we had the initial drop off the wick back up then we had the consolidation period inside of a wedge with a breakout and then a drop which created new lower lows plus market cipher b also showing some similarities you can see when we got this drop off, which took out the lows of the first drop off, we actually printed a bullish divergence on the daily time frame. The momentum waves increasing on market cipher B as we printed a new low. And if you go back to present day, that seems to be what is happening again. If you zoom in on market cipher B, actually looks like we could get a green dot on this momentum wave very soon and as of right now we would in fact print a bullish divergence on the daily time frame because we have put in lower lows than this initial drop off over here so looking very similar in that aspect now if this were to repeat we would have a nice move up here followed by one last slow bleed possibly back down to this trend line so it may look something like this we come up retest the resistance of this consolidation area which is exactly what happened back here and then possibly bleed back down to this trend line so if we're looking at this like we are repeating the same pattern as back here which is the Wyckoff distribution which is all anyone was talking about back in the summer that means we would be right about here right now and the one thing that is different is back here we didn't touch this trend line but on this drop we actually did test this trend line and ideally, I would like to see us hold this trend line as support. But if this repeats, then we're probably going to see a pump up here to resistance, followed by a slow bleed down. And hopefully, we can find support on this trend line again. Now, another thing that's interesting is that we're actually holding support now on top of the resistance area that we had in the summer so it seems like we are repeating the same pattern except now we're doing it on top of this support and resistance area which if we are able to hold it is actually really bullish in my opinion plus if you just put a horizontal line and separate these two areas kind of seems like not only is this consolidation area pattern being reproduced over here, but we actually just kind of have a mirror copy of this price action that happened over here. I mean, you can just draw a line and actually see how similar these are. It does look like it is just making multiple head and shoulder formations, which is 
kind of a scary pattern to be reproducing over here. But, I mean, it worked out last time. So, hopefully, it'll end up working out again. I am expecting a little move up here, considering it looks like we're about to print bullish divergences on the daily time frame here. Plus, if you come down to the 4-hour, we actually got a nice little bullish divergence as we were wicking off of this trend line. So I think that is a pretty good sign as well. Plus, it looks like the money flow on the 4-hour is starting to turn around. So hopefully, we can get a nice little move back up to this support and resistance area. And then maybe if the patterns repeat, we just have one more leg down before we can officially break this downtrend. So I'll be watching for this carefully for the next couple weeks. But in the meantime, I'm waiting for this daily green dot to print and hopefully being able to take advantage of this little move up that we may get in the future. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and turning on my post notifications. Really appreciate all the support, everybody. And I'll see you all on Tuesday for my next video. Peace out.